In my last YouTube short, I spoke about this Thunderbolt 5 enclosure, the Tesmar TBE X5 Max. So I've got this in for review and I've been trying to test it, but my tests have not gone well. It works with a few Gen 4 SSDs, but the speeds are awful. But it didn't work with the Gen 5 SSD and it doesn't work with this Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus, which is a Gen 4 SSD. A fast one, but it is still Gen 4. Now, I've tested different cables, I've tried different Thunderbolt ports, and I've, you know, swapped around the drives with different enclosures, and it all comes down to this. It's not a cable issue, it could be cooling. And the reason I thought it could be cooling is because the shell here at the bottom here is really thin. I know there's a fan in there, but the fan is just there for the Thunderbolt controller, it's not for the SSD. So, yeah, that's, look at that, it's terrible. And this is a $400 enclosure. The other thing I, th I thought it could be would be the thermal pad. This is 0.5 millimeters. That's what they provide. So that's what I did my initial test with, which I think is important because if you spend $400, you don't expect to get 0.5 millimeter thermal pads. Um, but I put this 1.5 millimeter thermal pad on it. This one here from Arctic. And it's probably too thick. And I know that that can be bad as well. You know, you need to find the sweet spot. Maybe it's one millimeter would be better. Um, but yeah, it still doesn't work it still doesn't work. And what happens is I connect it to my Mac Studio and it just pulses on and off. Now you're not gonna get that with the slower, like Gen 3 SSDs or, you know, some Gen 4 SSDs, but it just doesn't seem to handle the hotter Gen 4 SSDs or any Gen 5 SSDs. So yeah, it's a little bit disappointing. And after I did that test, I put this, uh, Sabrent drive into my cases just to rule out not being a Thunderbolt issue or a drive issue, but not work first time. So there's no issue with the SSD or with the port or with the cable. So yeah, it comes down to the fact that this one is looking like it's broke. I think that's what it is. And the reason I'm saying I think it's broke is because a friend of mine, David Harry, he's got a YouTube channel and he's performed all these types of tests and he hasn't had these issues. So I think I've been sent a faulty product and I think I've wasted two or three days of my life testing that. But yeah, that's the follow-up. $400 enclosure, doesn't work. But to their credit, when I did report all of this initially, the first thing they said was, we'll send you out a new one. So yeah, that's where I'm standing just now. Sometimes this is what happens. You spend a lot of time testing things and the results just don't go your way.